Hello, good evening. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Muhammad Asim. Today we will be discussing about uh, one topic. We will be creating one CI/CD pipeline using Jenkins uh, CI/CD tool. Okay, let's check uh, the architectural diagram and how the flow for this video uh, for this tutorial are going to cover up, right? So from the local, what we will do it, uh, we will push the code in the uh, through the kit to the GitHub. Okay, where the repository uh, in the GitHub where our code resists over there, right? So whenever the developer push the code to the GitHub, from there we required a CI/CD, right, for the deployment process. So what we will do it uh, in the initial stage. We will create a uh, three EC2 instance, right? So how we will create? We will be using Terraform infrastructure as code to create three EC2 instance, three server VM. You can call it a VM, EC2 machine or server it doesn't matter. Okay, it refers to one point. So we'll be creating three EC2 instance and one EC2 instance will be converting that instance to for the CI/CD CI/CD pipeline. Okay, and we'll be installing Jenkins. Okay, the second we what we will do it. We will create one. Uh, we will install sonar cube on the ec2 instance second ec2 instance and that will be used for the quality check right our code whatever the code for the application is there it will be colon and uh, code and static code analysis will be done if there is a, a box in that the error duplication of the code is there in a uh, exposition of environment variables or you're exposing your keys or credentials that can be scanned and provide as a report right this will do the part of uh, DevSecOps, dev sec right uh, I, if you go to the, my channel, if you check all uh, related to the video that uh, I have been covered related uh, with the sonar cube, okay? Then we required one server where we can deploy our application, right? So what we will do it, we will at the third EC2 instance that we will convert into uh, that we will convert as our uh, deployment server, right? So there, what we will do, we will install Docker because we are going to create a Docker image out of our application and we will be deploying, a, we are creating a Docker container out of that and that container we will expose to the users, okay? That will be exported on the internet, right? And how the user is going to access that is that we will we'll be providing one domain. Through that domain, uh, the users can access our application, okay? To handle this web servers, uh, to handle this our application, we will be using Nginx web server, right? This is uh, called as a reverse proxy web server also. This also, uh, this complete uh, topic has been covered in our, uh, in our channel, right? It's complete tutorial is there you can go and check it out and don't forget uh, to share and uh, subscribe right so that whenever we create the videos you should receive a notification so don't forget to hit up and subscribe and hit the notification button okay so let's go and we will try to create for that so in order to create this first we require terraform uh, main tier file right where we have to mention the resources so what i will do it i will use vs code right vs code to go into my directory okay so i have opened the terminal so let me just create one more time so i will open the terminal over here uh, where is my code resist right so this is a code uh, just few uh, demonstration if you want complete details of how the terraform will be working so you can go and check my complete series is available on my channel that Terraform, how you're going to install on your local system, how you're going to configure it, how you are to integrate AWS CLI, how you're going to connect with your local uh, through VS Code or to your account AWS. Okay, this all the topics have been covered. So that link I will be providing description even on the on the notification of your video above. Okay, so let me show you that. Okay, so what we will do it now, uh, we will take the region as a default, right? So we will be using AP South one and the profile credentials which are already configured right so and we will take in ubuntu image right because we required Uban, uh, ubuntu right so we'll be using ubuntu image okay instance will be t2 medium more than enough and the key name is te test one two four five right and the availability zone where we required we required ap south one no issue okay just no issue we, uh, we don't require this just so i'll come into over that and uh, we require one public ip so just is there uh, we will be adding some tags to know that this server is this ec2 instance which we are creating this is for the project server staging and the product uh, the tire i'm giving us product it will be used as the product uh, environment right the output whatever the instance output of this uh, is there it should pro provide me the ip of that okay the public IP should be there and how many instances do we require we require three instances as per our architectural diagram right 
one one two and three okay so we'll be following the same thing so the first step after this uh, you should have the main you have to come to this directory so i'm in the terraform directory if i ls here then i'll be able to see there is a one file which is all main.tf okay so uh, let me clear clear the screen right the first step uh, what you have to do it you have to do it uh, terraform in it right to initialize the directory so we are initializing the backend so that it can lock my version of my terraform whatever the terraform version currently i'm using that will be locked for the future references right when we are creating the references that re version will be locked when we were in order to connect your cli uh, to your aws account right just click enter create uh, create access key just copy this create access key and just go here in our terminal okay just take aws configure just enter here then it will pull me to insert aws access key just copy the access key over here which you created just paste it hit enter then it will ask you aws secret key which is over here just copy and paste it over here you know uh, now just hit enter enter okay so this is how you can connect your aws cli with your uh with your account okay when we were uh, adding a i mean adding any resources or deleting or modification any resources that version will be referenced and the modification will be done on your uh, on your account site right so this terraform is initialized then what i will do it i'll use terraform right terraform validate to code to validate my code right so it will take few uh, seconds it will validate my code if i have any error over here any parameters have been missed out from my uh, site so it will prompt me that before uh, just trying to uh, create the resources so that is done so now what we are doing we are creating the resources in ap south one okay you have to research this so what i will do it one more time right so i'll be using terraform apply to create the resources now so just i will hit it over here so i'll wait for the few seconds let me show that 17 what was the name of 17 on 3 okay it's fine i'll click it yes let us validate that is any resources is getting created in the mobile region and let me check uh, ap south one is fine well the resources are getting right the servers are getting created right we are creating three server and we have given specification as t2 medium so that's fine just wait for the few seconds yes see uh i know it to go and check in my account that this ip is fine or no right so what happened uh, before going to the console i can know what's my ip over here right if you go and check validate this if i click first uh, ec2 insert which is created which is saying 65 11 level right starting 211 if you check it over here yes i have this so this is how you can uh, get the output of your your public ip so that's fine uh, we have created the resources now what we will do it uh, first what we will do it we will rename this uh, instances right just so that uh, we should not be confused over here jenkins right that's fine and i will keep this uh, as sonar so now right that's fine the third one is uh, our our application server app server right so we have renamed uh, these three servers right so what we will do it now we will try to access right we will try to access so first thing what we have to do it we have attached one security group over here right so what i will do it i will go in the security group and i will check what uh, ports has been enabled because we have not specified any uh, additional security groups in that so that uh, i should add over here some of the security groups right so just let me add a security group over here just i will add it as uh, all traffic no just a second 
let me delete i will add uh, the ports port 22 right and i will say it anywhere then i required uh jenkins right because i have given uh, the same uh, security group to all this right so i require sonar cube so i will give it 9000 over here and i will say anywhere uh, what i do required a uh, one two three i required http and https right so let me give http uh, from anywhere and we will be redirection to https so that uh, https yes is fine and we will add over here so we added all the security what we required right so that's fine just save it over here our security group also is fine so now what we will do it first uh, thing is that uh, we will go and we will check our download folder so that i should be able to have uh, the test file is fine i have the file over here the next thing what we will do it uh, now we will go and we will try to access our servers okay so the first thing what we will do it we will take sonar cube server we will set up the sonar cube then we can do the remaining things okay so just i'll go for mobile extra right this is a third party application just you have to click it over section just go over here and give your ip then you specify ubuntu right then you go for private key then the the key is exist in uh in my download folder so i'll give the path over here and i will click ok so i should be able to log into the server so yes if you see it over here i am able to log in on the server right okay so the next step, what we have to do it uh, we will convert this uh, sonar cube uh, server right sonar cube uh, this is into instance into sonar cube so the first thing what we will do it we will update the packages uh, so that if something is missed out sudo apt update right so it will update all the packages and this uh, the second part what we will do we will rename this server so that we should remember that this uh, this is associated with which server it should not be any confusion over there right so the second step what we have to do it uh, sudo right sudo host name ctl right set host name these are command is required uh, to rename our servers right so i'll give sonar cube fine so if i have done this then i have to give it bin bash so that it should reload uh, the changes so if you check it over here now i am into the sonar cube server right so i have renamed that sonar cube so let me just uh no issue this we can change it now. now what i will do it i will go back over here then i'll go back to sonar sonar cube installation right just i'll click it so i'll be to the official document uh sorry official website of sonar right so download sonar so where if you go it over here then what you have to you have to click on this uh, download okay so this is the basic versions of that this is a community edition which is free so we require the free version just click on the download so it start downloading right just post it over here and just copy click here and take the copy download link right so we will be directly downloading uh, on the server side so what i will do is just i will go over here then uh, after that what we will do it we will try to install uh, try to download the file okay so for that what we required we required a uh, we required a command right so we require the packages also so i'll just give it uh, wget so it will starting and it will fetch uh, the file if you ll over here so you see there is a one file which is zip version which is for the sonar cube uh, this is downloaded from there right so we receive uh, we have this uh, from the official uh, official website we already uh, uh, like we downloaded on our server side so before we proceed we required a uh, java for sonar cube right this is a pre request for a sonar cube it required sonar cube we required right jdk version of 17 right so this you can use directly command just follow it so it will install the uh, java in our local machine sorry in our server 
right? So we are what we are accessing it. Uh, just rename. So I'll be renaming as Sonar Cube, right? Fine. So it will install uh, the packages. So after the installation is completed, we will validate that is our uh, Java is installed or no. So let me check it over here. Uh, no, the I think the command is Java hyphen hyphen version, right? So yes, the JOpen JDK version 17 is installed on our uh, Sonar Cube server EC2 machine, right? So now what we have done before, we already downloaded a Sonar Cube, right? If we check it over here, there is a Sonar Cube here, but that is in the zip file. So what I have to use, uh, I have to use unzip and the name of this okay so so i want to unzip over here so it's showing that you need to install unzip dependencies right so what i will do is just i will copy over here and i will paste it so what happened it will uh, install unzip right so now i can use the same command to unzip uh, to unzip our uh, downloader document right so if we check it over here you're able to see that yes it's already unzipped so let's go inside that uh, sonar cube right if you ll over here you're able to see there is a lot of uh, directories over here but our working directory is bin so i'll go inside here because there is a one uh, script over there which i need to run so now here is providing the detail that what type of installation do you require for the sonar cube what is your operating system if your mac os you have to go inside this if your windows then you have to go inside this if you have uh, linux then you have to be our is linux right so i will go in the linux right just ll over here then you are seeing one sonar dot sh so if you check over here what is exactly this file is so it's actually a shell script which is returned to uh, install the sonar cube on your server side but in the uh, last you will see there is a lot of option when you are going to install this run this uh, script you can use uh, multiple option to like uh, to use if you use console like dot uh, sorry I can use sh uh, let me just check it out what was the sketch okay sh uh, sonar right we can use sh or dot uh, backward slash right so what we will do it uh, we will use the simple thing we will say that uh, yes p is install and use console right I'm using this console just to see the output okay it start uh, downloading everything and it will install using the Russian uh, script it will install the sonar cube on our EC2 instance right just wait for the few seconds so that installation should get completed right so sonar scope dashboard uh, is available right just i will use admin and i will use admin to log in into it right so just log in into the sonar queue right so the next step what we will do it we will create a new password password right uh, the old what was admin right the new word what we will do it we will create one uh, we will create one uh, username right asim admin i'll just to remember that right asim admin okay same admin right so i'll update over here so now we are into sonar cube right so now we are if you come over here then you will be seeing that uh, we are here right where we are we are into the uh, sonar cube and there is a lot of option that pay from where you want to create your project right so the thing is that uh, what we will do it now we will directly go to the projects okay so the step the first step what we required is we will be using uh, import from the github no create a project from the local yes i'll create local right and i will give the name of this right uh, as uh, let's say uh, application right and uh, the name and the branch is main then i'll click on next okay after the next is done then uh, I'll use the global setting
then I'll click on the create project right so now the project is created and the next step what is asking which tool do you want to integrate with sonar cube so for the CI CD pipeline we are using Jenkins right and the, for the Jenkins I just have click on the Jenkins okay so after that uh, where you're going to integrate with I'm going to integrate with the github okay to run the project and I will Jenkins the following plugin must be installed right sonar cubes can okay fine I have the information related to that everything is fine that is fine that is fine and it will pull me that uh, okay what type of your project is it just I'll keep it uh, other because my is not maven graded okay so now it has given me one sonar property okay so I have to copy this and save it over here okay this file is important right sonar property key is equal to application this we required in the Jenkins when we are started working on the Jenkins file okay so this part is done already we have created uh, in the cube right then afterwards uh, if you want to use this in the Jenkins file then I have the key over here like pipeline just I will copy I'll go over here and I will paste it okay so I have saved this right so I'll go back over here then that's it okay so what we have done we have created the project key the project key is already completed okay so what we have done we have done one part of the right one pre-request uh, one part we have done so I will just uh, name it as part one we have done so that I'll give it uh, part two because I need the token also right uh, from the sonar cube so for that in order to do that then we'll go back over here then we'll go to the administration uh, and the security way then just I'll click on the security then I'll go for the user right then uh, I require the token being admin right administrator so I'll click on the token so one token will be over here then I will give is add uh, Jenkins integration right I'll click generate so if you see over here one token is generated right token is generated so I will be copying that in the part 2 I will be saving that token right so this token we have to give in uh, you have to provide in the server side of the Jenkins right when you are uh, adding your servers sonar server into the Jenkins fine this is done uh, okay it's showing me that your user Jenkins integration can be used whenever it, I have not mentioned any specific project to be used so it will be used as a global right so and the name I have given as Jenkins integration right so I have created a token for that okay just I will save that uh, part part that part is also done okay I'll go back over here then I will queue this my part of the sonar cube is already done the next part what we have to do it we will go back and we will uh, go for a Jenkins server right so just what I will do it I will copy uh, the Jenkins okay then I'll go back and I will create uh, I will access this Jenkins server itself I'll use username as Ubuntu by the default Ubuntu is Ubuntu username for that and I'll give the key uh, which is the same key right which we are using okay that fine okay and I'll just name this as Jenkins right just I'll click ok so the connection will be validated okay so just what we'll do first we will update the packages sudo apt update hyphen y so that uh, the packages the packages uh, get updated right and the first name what we will do it uh, we will rename the server also so that we should know exactly on which server we are working right so the first step what we will do it after that is uh, we will uh, just change the name of this server host name right host name ctl set host name jenkins right jenkins so what we have to do is uh, we have to give it as bin bash in order to apply that changes so we are into the Jenkins now right so we added the Jenkins the first step what we have to do it we have to install uh, the Jenkins over here right so 
what we will do it we will go and we will access uh, the Jenkins server now so for that we required uh, Jenkins on Ubuntu right so Jenkins on Ubuntu fine if you click it over here you should be able to see this right so what I will do it I will go and I will copy uh, the first thing what we required we required uh, these two commands I'll copy over here and I will hit in the terminal fine so it will install open JDK JRD so this is a prerequisite for the Jenkins yes this part is done then i'll go back over here and i will install the jenkins so we are using a uh, lts version of the jenkins so what i will do is just i will copy from here and i will go back and i will paste it over here then i will hit enter so the jenkins will install okay then uh, what i have to do it down uh, then i require these commands right so just to enable on the boot And if you go for the our architectural drawing, what we have, uh, like uh, we have discussed in the instead, okay. So what to know what we have done is uh, we have installed the sonar, uh, the Gen Jenkins, sorry, uh, the static code analysis sonar cube, right? On the EC2 instance, we have created uh, three EC2 instances using Terraform, right? And we have used the credential of AWS using AWS configure, right? this part is done so now what we are doing we are doing this part now we are installing Jenkins on EC2 instance and we will be converting and we will be using one SSL certification in order to use uh, use a uh, domain and use uh, the encrypted away version right so that part also we will uh, show you so let's go and cover this part now okay so this part is done so and what I will do it next time uh, just uh, I will enable this so that it should be done in the boot way right so system should start Jenkins fine uh, then the status of the Jenkins okay so the Jenkins is up and running right so I'll use control C now what we required we require one web server right to in order to access this so what I will do it, I'll go back over here and we will install Nginx over here, right? So I'll copy this and I'll paste because I need uh, Nginx to make a reverse proxy for my Jenkins, right? Jenkins, fine. So I'll go over here and I will install uh, some of the... Uh, now what we will do, it, uh, we will install Nginx, right? So let's go to our document, right? And we will install Nginx in our system, right? In order to do that, uh, just I will have to use the Nginx command, right? sudo apt Nginx, fine. It will install the Nginx on our Jenkins server. Okay, so Nginx already installed. So now if I check Nginx, nginx hyphen v so it's from many that is installed right so where is the configuration file we have to make a reverse proxy for that right so var uh, the file will be in ect slash nginx this is the default path site uh, availables right site available nginx okay if you a little over here then you have site available right so if you LL over here, you should find one default, right? So what I will do it first, I will remove this uh, default file because I don't require it. I'll create a, okay. So 
just create okay sudo rm default okay if you allow here i don't have any file for here. that i required sudo nano jenkins right so i have created now just what i will do it i'll go back uh, to my code right i have a reverse proxy file over here then i'll copy this right and i will paste it over here okay so the name i'm giving server name jenkins asim cloud tech.com let me just validate over here asim cloud tech.com okay so i'll create one more record here a record then i will give it as jenkins right and the value i acquired ec2 instance of jenkins server so i'll be pasting over here then i will do it here right so i will add it so it will take few seconds so that uh, this should be up and running okay meanwhile what i will do it uh, just uh, i have done 80 uh yes jenkins is working on 8080 control x then press y then you hit enter so if i cat uh, jenkins right so if i cat a uh, jenkins file yes the file is done so now what i will do it uh, the first thing then i need to create one symbol link between that right so what i will do it i will just uh, take this file over this okay and i'll go back and i will use this uh, symbol link the reason for that we have created file right we have created the file where we have created we have created the file in site available but it has to be the path should be matched with the site enables also okay just hit enter okay and you should go able cd back and i'm going to site uh, site enable okay if you ll here you will be seeing one default file which is uh, which we have deleted before right so i have to delete from here also so rm default because it will throw me the error holes okay sudo rm then we will check the syntax now of the nginx is my syntax is fine uh, then it's showing that there is no permission syntax is okay error dot file pid permission denied a uh, sudo okay fine sudo nginx hyphen t that, that is fine okay we have not used sudo right there is no issue so now what i will do it i will restart uh, sudo system ctl restart nginx right so it will restart my nginx now if i go back here is my uh, entries has been updated yes it has been updated now what i will do it i will just go copy over here then i will use jenkins dot over here and hit enter i should be able to see the jenkins uh, the login page okay see uh we have assigned a jenkins login page over here and one more step what we have today if we check it over here is showing that it's not secure so why don't we make it secure to in order to do that uh we require some of the plugins right we require search board to uh, organization to provide us a free ssl certification to do that uh what we will do it uh, we will install uh the ssl certification plugins okay so what i will do it i will install search board using python uh, python right so i will just install the dependency of that okay so after doing that uh okay let me just go to the, my document and i will check uh sudo sudboot it's fine okay sudo sudboot nginx yes it's fine and you will no any no no it don't required okay fine uh, then what we will do it uh, we will go back over here and what we will do it we will using this we will request our domain for a certificate okay just i will use sudo and i will use a cert board and certificate only using a web server as nginx and the domain we will giving as jenkins uh, asimcloud.com right this is right and it will ask me the email address so i will give asim uh i'll give the email address so that whenever my certificate get expired at the time i'll receive the notification with them stating that you have to renew okay so it's a protocol just i'm saying that okay i'll uh, i will agree to all your terms and condition because we require free certificate right so what happened uh just i will show you something 
see now the certificate has been issued where it's saved it's saved in let in script live jenkins right there is a two keys one is public key one is private key public key will be uh, in the browser side when you are on private key so the connection will be uh, from the browser encrypted way okay encrypted way from there the request will go to my server this jenkins encrypted way there it is in the server it will be decrypt from here it the same response will go back Debug this just we will use a sudo certbot.ings right so it showed and it's asking me which domain do you want to activate https i want to activate for that and i'll say that i'll be using reinstall the existing certificate to my jenkins right i'll hit enter so now the successfully uh, the domain has been added to our jenkins file okay if i go and uh, refresh my browser right i should be able to see that uh, there is a one certificate has been installed right so if you click it over here you should be able to see that yes jenkins is issued from there okay fine my uh, transit is fine if you go and check it over uh, cd uh, nginx cd cd nginx right site available if i cat uh, our jenkins file is our key is added yes the key is has been added over here so this part is done so my jenkins is working fine if i want to check uh, the key system ctl status uh, jenkins so i should be able to see the key over here so the key i think is hidden no issue we can find in the second way is that i uh, is already given the path over here so from here just i'll copy and i'll go back to terminal just i'll use cat command just to see the key over here and the key is over here just copy this key okay paste it over here in your terminal right continue so now we install uh, the plugins We'll wait uh, for a few seconds. Let's okay. The plug uh, the plugin is installed now. What we required uh, we required uh, the username and the password, right? So the username I will keep it as asim, right? Asim app. Password also I will keep it asim app, right? And I will confirm this uh, as a same way. Just I'll give it over here, and I will give it uh, any um, just save enter, okay? got it and i will uh, save the passwords also for the jenkins mm -hmm. go back here save and finish okay so we are able to we are into the jenkins now so for the first step what we required we required the plugins so you have to go to the manage jenkins then you'll go for installation of the plugins right so the first plugin what we required is that uh we required sonar cube right sonar cube so sonar cube scanner is fine the second i required uh open jdk in jdk right so i required eclipse terminal right so i will take that also so that i will install uh java 17 right then afterwards i required uh, i need to log in into over uh, to the server so i'll be using uh, the another key which is ss2 easy okay so we are going to deploy into remote server right so we required this three and we required a uh, github uh, integration now git integration i think by default is installed okay and just i will click install the plugin in the history getting installed right uh just i will click okay don't install now and then i'll go for the manage jenkins then i have to configure these tools which we are using so i'll go for the global tools right there i'll search for sonar cube so kona sonar cube scanner is over here so i'll click on the sonar cube installation then i will give it as a jenkins integration or okay and i will click uh, install automatically right 
so this is fine this is done so the name what we are using sonar scanner right so i will add the sonar cube only so that it should not be project sonar cube right so apply right then uh, what we will do it we will go and we will add uh, the credentials so in order to do that you have to go back and you have to go and find uh, the credentials right so in the credentials i will add as a global credentials right add credentials then i'll go with a secret text sorry i'll be clicking secret text over here and i have to give the secret text which i have copied in the sonar cube right so while creating sonar cube i have copied this right i have created this token right this is a secret text and then i have to give it over here then i can give it sonar cube then the description also i will give the same way right so we added the tool we added the credentials now we have to add a we have to add the system right so i'll go to the configure system right then i'll go back to sonar cube server where are the sonar cube server or sonar cubes then i'll click, <coughs> click add a sonar cube installation right then i'll give the name uh, as sonar cube right then i'll give the url what is the url uh, of sonar cube the url of the sonar cube is a uh, 9000 right so i'll be pasting over here just remove the this tag and i'll give the sonar cube uh, credential which i have added just apply save okay so uh, we added the sonar cube tools we have added the credentials then we added sonar cube server right so this part is done right so we have done successfully till now then what we have to do it now in order to do that just i will go and i will create one simple freestyle project with a uh, name of the project itself and i will click project right then i'll click ok so after that uh, i required uh, the code right so i'll take this uh, is in my github github repository you can clone from here just i will say simple dev sec ops project right so i'll keep the strategy to keep a maximum two right and i will add uh, the git over here and i will give my url right credential i don't require because this is public repo and uh, let me validate uh, the brand the branch is main so i have to give the branch name as a main this is fine uh, for the kind being i'll keep a hook trigger fine uh, start build this is fine this is fine this is fine okay so now what we will do it just i will apply and i will save it and let me run this uh, this file right let me run this pipeline so if i click it over here in the uh, pipeline if you click on the console or you're able to see that uh, the jenkins what i have to, uh, done is that in the uh, it has uh, cloned the repository from my github account right okay uh, by using uh, and it has created and it has created one directory over here right where is my data has been stored all the repos so if i go back to jenkins server if i use this one into the project if i ll over here so i'm finding all the detail of my website over here okay so this part integration is part successfully done now the second part what we have to do it uh, you can see over here also right if you go here if you check the box pack, you should be able to see all the files over here the second thing what we will do it we will add the next next step uh, the next step you go back here and you add a step over here as a build step so in the build step add sonar cube i need analysis properties right which we have created so if you just keep it over here if you check it here uh, i have already created the properties so i'll be copying over here just i'll paste it here i'll keep everything as it is okay the path to property let it be and everything fine just apply and i will save it over here now what i will do it i will run the pipeline over here for the second time and let me see what happened is able to communicate or no so sonar cube is fine uh, analysis dependency so if zero file 
is finished okay so it's saying that uh, the code is already finished okay so the sonar cube quality gate has been passed okay so if i go over here and if i refresh over here so i should be able to see that projects where all the data has been stored okay it's showing that there is some issues some security issue for open issues 25 maintenance issue no issue if you click on the issues then you will see some recommendation from uh, from uh, from the sonar cube some duplication or any additional things right so this uh, we can share with our uh, developer team so that they can go and rectify whatever the uh, recommendations are the duplication or anything is there that can be rectified so our code is passed that is fine and the second thing what we have to do it as per our uh, and the agenda we have completed over here is the Jenkins part right we have installed and we have configured we have done this also now we have to deploy on our EC2 install our application okay in order to do that this part also is done right so in order to do that okay what we will do it we will go back over here and we will access app server okay so just copy this here go back to the terminal then i'll go back over here then here then i'll paste it over here or oh, just i'll give ubuntu ubuntu opening system then click it over here then i will upload my the key okay the key is in the download just click it over here then i will be inside that just i will rename over here uh, just as say docker okay because this server will be dockerized right because we want to uh, dockerize our application so this part is done so in order to do that uh, what we have to do is that we will create uh, the docker server right so to do that first thing what we will do it we will uh, update the packages apt update sudo apt update right so after the update packages we will convert this uh, host name right so to do in order to do that we will use the command sudo host name ctl then uh, set uh, host name right and i will give it as a docker or i can give it as app okay then i will give it bin bash so now you are saying that this is the app right so let me rename this uh, it will be app fine then let me increase everything so that you should be able to see it okay this we already done okay now what we will do it we will use the commands uh, to install the docker the first command what we will do sudo apt right so sudo apt hyphen so what i will do it uh, just to minimize the time i have in my document so i'll go and i will just uh, just copy that and i will paste it over here okay so just copy docker io then you go back over here just hit enter then it's fine installation is taking time then afterwards uh, i'm adding a ubuntu into docker group okay so that it should have the permission to the docker domain do, uh, daemon okay and we will add uh, one more uh, because we have to add uh, over here right so what i will do is just i will add uh, i will update the docker group okay uh, i will give the permissions read write permission to do the to docker socket okay so this also is done because it will throw me the error uh, then afterwards i will switch back to the root users right uh, sudo su hyphen okay this is fine up to here what we have done this is fine now what we will do it uh just we will try to access uh, on the Jenkins server uh, we will try to access the docker right because uh, in the Jenkins from the Jenkins I'll show you 
from the Jenkins, you have to go into the Docker uh, server and you have to app server. Then you have to uh, install the uh, Docker container, right? We have to enter the Docker container out of Docker image and we have to <coughs> install the Docker uh, container over there, right? So that uh, to in order to do that, uh, we should be able to access Jenkins uh, from the Jenkins server, the app or <coughs> app server, okay? To in order to do that, uh, what, what I will do it, I will go back over here uh let me go cd over then now uh, what i will do it i will switch uh, to jenkins user right so that i should be able from the jenkins so now i am in the jenkins right the next day what we will do it uh we are into one two then i will try to access uh our server right what is the ip of my docker server the app server so this is my app server so if i enter over here so it's showing that authentication of that is failed cannot be established no issue fine i'll type yes okay pseudo permission denied okay no issue so permanently added uh, to the list of known hosts okay this is added the next step what we have to do it is that uh, we have to go back and we have to create uh, enter the password of that docker ubuntu user right so what we will do it uh, back over there we will go back to our application server okay from here what we will do it uh, we will do some of the modification in our ssz config file okay so in order to do that i will open use nano okay ect slash ssh slash ssh d config right if you check it over here in the down you will find the two things so first thing what we have to do it uh, we have to uncomment uncomment the public uh, public authorization right public key authorization i have to uncomment okay the first thing what we have to do is uncomment this the second thing what we have to do it i have to go for the password i have to just uncomment over here so parts for authentication we are making. then after entering the yes then i will give x and i will give y then it's saved after that uh, what we will do it we will restart the services what we have configured right so in order to do that system ctl <coughs> sorry restart ssd right so we have restarted the service over here now what we will do it i will go back over into the jenkins server and i will try to access one more time right And before that, what we will do it, we will create the password of this. Uh, we have missed out to create the password, right? So what we will do it, we will create the password over here for the Ubuntu, okay? So in order to do that, to set the password, so what you have to do it, you have to use the command pass word, right? Password and Ubuntu. So just I'll give the password for the Ubuntu user. Uh, then I'll give it as Asim. One two three, right? So A S W E M R C one two three. Okay, the password is successfully done. Okay, so now this part is done. So if I check over here, go back, and am I able to log into the here? Oh no, let me see. Still is showing me the public key. So in order to do that, what you have to do it, you have to create the key out of our uh, one uh, key gen. Uh, SSS key and you have to add using the key generation right key gen so that part we will cover up now so let's uh, cover up that part being over here okay so password is already set so so what we will do it we will create one key over here using the command uh, ssh key right key gen so the key gen the key will be generated right so what we have to do it we have to create it over here just uh after that where the file set yes it's save over here uh, i don't want any passphrase i don't want any over here so the key is generated over here right so after creating the key 
okay what you have to do it uh, you have to go and be denied uh, so let me rephrase that point we will copy this key over from here and we'll go for the app and what we will do it uh, we will go back here and we will press enter here then uh, what we will do it just we will paste in the authorized keys so just uh, I will use nano right authorized keys this keys <clears throat> then I'll go back over here then I will paste the key which I have generated <clears throat> Then I'll be pasting over here. Just control X and Y exit. Okay, <clears throat> if I use VI authorize, then I should be able to see that I already copied. Okay, fine. This part is done. using the command I go just to this keys now what I will do is just I'll go back over here uh, then I'll be using same then I'll be switching to uh, exit right sudo su jenkins right being jenkins I should be able to I'll log into that so in order to do that I required a so I'll be using this command just to log into that so now we into go to the application right so this issue has been resolved okay fine this headache is fine so I am able to log in now so now the next step what we will do it uh, just uh, okay so if I exit over here, then I am exit right. So if I check over here, I'm into the application. So this part is already done. The next part, what we will do it now, this part is done, right? I'm into the application now. <clears throat> I'm into the app also. So the next step, what we will do it, uh, we will go now and we will uh, just configure this. So quickly, what we will do it, we will go to the dashboard. Okay, we will go to the manage Jenkins. Let me just click over here uh keep me signed over here so i'll go to the manage jenkins then i will scroll down below here configure system right <clears throat> then i'll go for the server group center right so in order to do that server group where server group center okay in the server group center i will click it over add right then i will give the name app app right app server then I'll use SSH port. Then I'll give it open to as a username. Then the password what I have mentioned. Uh, let me just remember the password what I have mentioned over here. So I have given the password as ASIMAP, right? So I think I have given the same password over there. So let me just remember what I have given over that. Uh, Just a second, let me just check it out what I have given over here. I have given ASIM123, right? So I'll be giving the same password over here. So ASIM one two three right so this password has been added now what we have to do it uh, i'll go over here again then i'll go back down then after that uh, adding the password then i'll say apply over here so the group in the group i have added over there then after that uh, what i have to do it i have to add the server list over here then i can give the name over here to in order to do that uh, what do i require server group why the group is not coming save and apply 
okay so I'll go back again over here then I'll go back to the configure here then I'll go back down over here there where uh, I have to go back to app server right then I have to click, uh, click on the app server then I have to give the name over here app server and then I'll be naming over here as app one then I required the instance IP address so I'll copy this uh, instance IP address then I'll be pasting over here and I will save it <coughs> apply and save it oh just a second I think I have missed one part let me just check it out just scroll down then you will be able to see that okay password is given app is given save apply and save it okay now what we will do it uh, we'll go back uh, to the dashboard then i'll go back to my pipeline which i've created project then i'll go back to configure then i will add one more step uh, for uh, deployment okay so here what we will do it uh, we will use uh, the direct uh, deployment over here so in order to do that i required uh, one build step right so what i will do it uh, just We need to create a docker right docker image out of that so in order to do that uh, what we will do it just i will add a one step that execute shell right uh, then what i will do it i will write uh, a csp is the command where i have to add it right uh, in the remote remote server and then i have to add it over here then i will give you the command over here uh, to just to add in the directory then I will give the name of the directory over here. Then I will just mention the path over here, Ubuntu. It and the IP what I have given. Uh, the IP which I have given is 300, right? This is the IP of my uh, uh, app server. So after that, I have to give it over here. Then I will give colon, right? Uh, colon and slash so on the root directory okay apply so what i have to do it i have to go back to the docker uh, i have to go back to the docker server so let me just exit from here because i'm into here so okay fine uh, let me again reconstruct this uh, okay so what i will do it i will create one directory over here uh, using the command mkdir and i will give the name as app right so i have created one directory over here then what i have to do it i will just uh, do a favor over here that uh, what direct if i ls over here i should be able to see the app so what i will do it just i will take the path over here so what was the path if you go for the cd app over here I have to take the path of this right so the path is over here let me copy this and i'll go back uh, to the path okay then i will paste it over there okay so just i will give the name uh, that root directory so this is default so i no need to mention this path again just i will mention app slash over here okay save and apply So in order to do that, uh, what we required is uh, we required uh, one Docker file, right? So what we will do it, we will go over here, and I will add one Docker file out of it. So I will add one file Docker, create new file with the name of a Docker file. Okay? Docker file. Fine. Sorry, Docker file so we have created one docker file out of this let me commit over here so basically the docker file contains uh, we are using nginx as a lightweight uh, alpine one and we are going to copy all the content over here in the repo uh, to the user share nginx html 
and we are exposing on the port 80 okay and the command we are using nginx and globally and demo log okay just commit and over here so commit is done and uh, we have already configured so just what we will do it we'll go over here uh, in here into the project and let us uh, build now let us see uh, what happens to that okay So if you click it over here let me check the output uh it's showing that okay done everything is done okay what happened where that is failed service uh, ubuntu dot app uh, cs is not a regular file image not a regular file update the mark as a fail okay no issue uh, copy over there simply okay let me go over here and let me ln okay i find over here so what we will do it we will add a step over here is that i uh, just go and create a docker uh docker file out of this uh, docker container out of this docker file right so to in order to do that uh, what you have to do it uh, you have to do uh, a simple step is that you have to just add a docker command right just uh, what i will do it i will say that please go over here copy the source completely over there just i will add hyphen r so that all the content should be added click and save it over here then let me build over here okay so now what will happen it will start the build over here okay what happened with the code this code successfully application right. failed. so what we will do it now just after this we will add a one more step so that uh, it should be added over here ssh ubuntu okay into the server and you go cd over here and create a one docker image out of uh build a docker image out of our docker file then what you have to run that uh, docker file create a one docker out of uh, our docker image and it's run uh, with 8080 port okay just apply save and i will save it down then uh, let me build now let me see that is that issue has been solved or no okay so just wait for, it. for the few seconds we will see that uh, that issue should be resolved now so if you check it over here let's go and check uh, in our console output then it's showing successful right so the method which we are using it all okay if you review over here so we are doing uh, it's verifying these layers okay it's creating uh, just it have copied all the content to my uh, directory over here which was the app directory if i ll over here i should be able to see all the content over here right then afterwards what is doing is creating one docker image out of our uh, docker file then it's exposing whatever we have written in the docker file it's creating and then exposing in the app in say 8080 so let's go and validate that part uh in order to do that or let's go and validate that it's our docker image is created over here or no docker image yes okay there is a one docker image which is created uh, with the name of nginx alpha line right so now it's uh, with the, uh, sorry we have fetched uh, nginx right so we have written in the docker file uh, and just i will show you the file over here so we are saying that using the nginx upper line right image create a docker file a docker con a docker image so my app image also is created now if i check docker uh, ps hyphen a so I, will, I should be able to see one docker uh, container is running over here and the port map is 80 and 80 okay so now in order to verify that uh, this application is running fine so what you have to do it you have to go back uh, to the instance then you have to copy the application over here then paste it over here right so i should be able to see now my application running over here see my application is running over here the thing is that uh, i don't require any uh, like uh, anything uh, additional to make it because using the docker itself docker file itself i have mapped 8080 port right so from the 80 port directly i'm able to access my docker container now this, uh, i'll go back uh, to domain then i'll go back to uh, edit, edit 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 where i'll create a one a record with the name app right i'll give a record and i will give the ip address of my uh, app server so app server is this so i have to go it over here and i paste it over here and click it save okay in the few seconds you should be able to see that uh, our domain is mapped with this instance okay so if i check over here uh, with the app dot 
asim cloud tech dot com right okay so I, uh, we are able to access through our domain right so this is how you can make uh, the proxy uh, in the dockerize right we can run your docker container from out of that code over here if i'm going for cd if i ll over here if i go to where let me exit over here right so ls so if i go to no no let me go back over here if I ls over here in the application right if i go back to my app directory if i ll over there i should be able to see all the docker images right and the docker container out of my docker image right which is mapped for the 80 port so this is how you can create your docker image and docker container with that right so if you check over here uh, if i click uh, over here so i should be able to see the steps right so if i go for the container okay so this is how you can create your docker image out of that okay so thank you and uh, don't fear don't forget to share subscribe uh, share uh, on the linkedin please don't forget to tag me over there thank you very much stay tuned and check it out and uh, we have already covered this all things okay so we have already covered all the things so hopefully this is practice for you try one more three or two time so you should be able to do it perfectly thank you very much is working fine so now what we will do it uh, we have to go back to our uh, uh, terraform where we have created our resources uh, before we turn it out we have to delete out the resources which we have created in aws account right so in order to do that uh, just uh, open the terminal and you have here just open there and use the command terraform destroy command right terraform destroy command will be deleting all your resources which we have created in the initial of this video okay this will just uh, type i think miss type destroy okay just hit enter it will validate uh, whatever the in the lock uh, terraform lock file right it will use all the credentials of aws cli and it will terminate our three servers which are up and running okay jenkins sonar and app so it will prompt you that uh, do you want to delete that so you have to press yes right so just wait for the few seconds so that you will receive a one uh, notification right just scroll down just showing whatever the we are going to do just enter yes hit enter so all the instances will be resources whatever created it starts shutting down and it will be deleted okay so this you don't miss out to delete all the resources which you have created before okay so just wait for the few seconds all the resources which we have created it will be destroyed so this is what cycle we have followed uh, we have created all the ec2 instances right jenkins server sonar server and app server right and uh, we have created using jenkins so we are using jenkins to delete that okay and uh, this is a document don't worry this documented uh, will be will be given to you as a way of uh, any blog so i'll be sharing that blog link in our d d description